Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross from PTCG Radio, and today I'm going to be playing a, de a game with the Belgian National Championship winning deck, that Evil Tail Garbador deck for which I just posted a deck breakdown. Now, if there are any eagle-eyed people out there, because I know how people on YouTube like correcting stuff, and I don't blame you for that, I've done it myself, although it did say I've got one win with this deck, this is my first game, I had an old Evil Tail Garbador deck which I played around with for a little while, this is my new version of the deck, so it is my first game with that. So, I'm going second, and that shouldn't be a surprise to anyone at this stage, this is what happens. But, in theory, I'm playing a nice, um, consistent version of this deck, so we shouldn't have a problem. So let's pop the Drudigan active, and the reason we pop the Drudigan active, and the Trubbish was supposed to be on my bench, that's very frustrating. But I suppose there's nothing we can do about that. Hopefully he won't end me, because if he does, I'm going to be slightly frustrated. Should be okay. Please don't end me, because I thought I'd click that trubbish to put it on the bench. So my opponent doesn't get a very good start at all there. Just got a Team Plasma Ball down. Now, annoyingly here, I've actually got two Dark Energy and a Dowsing Machine. But the problem is, Dowsing Machine won't do anything unless I get some energy in the discard, so there's nothing I can do about that. Um, and I don't have anything, so although my opponent didn't play a supporter, I am going to have to end him. Unless I just want to sit here and poke at him with Drudigan for turn after turn which isn't really going to do us a huge amount of good, especially as a muscle band plasma energy would then get the KO on Drudigan if I put a DCE on him. So I'm going to have to end my opponent, which kind of sucks, but there's very little I can do about that. What I can do, however, is get a float stone on my Trubbish. Now, and an energy on my Evil Tal. Now there's a every chance here that he is going to use a startling megaphone to get rid of the flowstone on my rubbish. But I've got a dowser machine in my hand, so I really don't mind. Ah, now that's very, very clever from him there. He's going to use an escape rope, and what he wants to do basically is either get my evil towel or my rubbish. But I need my rubbish, so he's going to stick up his thunderous here, and he's going to get a bunch of damage on the field. But I'm not so worried about that. I should be able to get a Garbodor out next turn, and although he's doing a bunch of damage here, which kind of sucks, I should be able to get a Trubbish out next turn and do a bunch of damage, and then I can finish him off with the Drodigan. So I'm not terribly worried here. Yeah, the Thunderous is going to do some damage to my Evil Tal, and it's going to suck, but I've got to... Um, I've got a couple of enhanced hammers in my deck to try and slow him down, and I've got all my lasers and such, and if I hit a DCE here, I'm not going to worry too much. Oh, and that is beautiful! So I don't really want to use my down machine, all I've got is an end, so what I'm going to do is play an enhanced hammer, and I'm going to get the energy off of his Kyurem there, because that's going to get the most... I don't really want him using that Kyurem's attack. And I do completely miss on... Oh, that's very frustrating. I haven't hit a single energy, which is very annoying indeed. So I'll try the catcher, and I'll hit a head. So I'll just bring up his Deoxys to slow him down a little bit, and then I can play a Hypnotoxic Laser, unfortunately hitting a Tails. But the other thing I can do here, and I, oh, I don't want to have to kill this much stuff to do it, but it's about all I can do at this stage. I can get my Garbodor out. This means that he's not adding damage with his Deoxys. And it means that he's not taking an extra prize with his Lugia. Far from ideal, but it, it, it's the very best I can do. So he does hit the startling megaphone there. And he hits the chorus, which is very frustrating. Um, he does seem to be drawing somewhat better than I in this particular game. Still, certainly not the end of the world. Now, he is going to get the KO here, which sucks. But hopefully, we can work around this. We've still got three ends left in the deck, so hopefully, we're going to be able to get something going here. So, let's pop a Drudigan up. We haven't used any Dark Patches either here, so that's certainly not the end of the world. And there go all of my Muscle Bands for the entire game. Annoying. But what can you do? So I do hit the Evil Tal. 
and I hit a dark patch, which is quite nice. And I hit the DCE for the Drudigan. And I hit the Enhanced Hammer to annoy the Lugia a little bit. And as he got the KO with damage, I can then use Revenge there. Now one mistake he's making here, and he is drawing far better, so this could still turn into a loss here. One of the things I've talked about, Although, actually, that double tails on roller skates kind of sucks. I have talked in my videos before about how frustrating it can be um, trying to, you know, how there is quite a lot of, not necessarily an advantage per se, but Plasma has a pretty good matchup against things, Garbodor-based decks. Uh, sorry, Evil Tail-based decks, because of Thunderous and such. But we hit the laser there, which is nice. And we hit the heads, so we can get an energy onto the evil town. And then we can end him down to four. And we can get the Verbank City Gym in play. Now what I should have done there, and this is entirely my own failing, what I really should have done was get the energy on the Sableye. Then I could have junk hunted for a pair of enhanced hammers. So this is a problem when you're not particularly used to a deck. That's annoying, but what can you do? Now I could do some damage to Thunderous here with Evil Tower, but instead we'll use Revenge. It only does 40. But the advantage here is that it's going to get a bunch of damage up there. So he's using Catcher, and he hits the heads. Now he's going to go for the Garbodor here, because I don't have a Floatstone attached to it, but I've got my Switch. So I'm not terribly worried here about that. So hopefully here, what I can do is, I mean, if his Thunder stays active, unless he tries to get the KO with Lugia... Which would be an option here, but the problem is that's going to leave his Lugia awfully vulnerable to an Evil Tau. Cause evil, and he looks like he might be going for the Lugia play here. Which is, it's a very risky play because he's only getting one prize. And now his Lugia is very, very vulnerable. So, I'm not going to be able to hit a muscle band here. I've used all of my muscle bands and my dowsing machine. But in theory, with his free energy on there, now if I can hit a laser, having said that I've used free lasers, so that's somewhat of a pain in the neck. And I've only hit one DCE. So what we're gonna do here, and we probably should have done this before, we're gonna switch up the Drudigan so that we can take advantage of Dark Patch because we really want to be hitting a dark patch to try and get the KO here. And there's no energy in the discard, so let's get an energy in the discard, and we can get a Trubbish out here as well, try and set up a Garbodor for the following turn, and then we can end him down to three. Now he is going to be taking an extra prize with Lugia next turn, so we are very much on a clock here, and we don't hit really everything we need here, but we've ended him down to three. Now, unfortunately, we don't hit, and this is quite annoying here, what we haven't done here is hit the, um, we haven't hit the laser. Now, the laser would have got the KO here, but we haven't hit the laser, so there's nothing we can really do about that. What we can do, though, is Ultra Ball for another Evil Tal. Now... We are at a huge crossroads in the game here. Because essentially one of two things is going to happen. If he can hit a muscle band startling megaphone off of these three cards. Then he's going to get three prizes with his Lugia and he's going to win the game. If he doesn't, then he's not going to get the KO. I'm going to be rolling with a new Evil Tal. And he's going to be running out of resources, and he's got a half-dead Thunderous on the bench, which is his only one, and he hasn't got a Kyurem going. So if he's drawn really well, 
Oh, he doesn't need a startling megaphone, sorry. He just needs a muscle band because I don't have a Garbodor out. If he's drawn it off the end to three, there's really nothing I can do. Um, and he hasn't used any yet, so he may well have it. Oh, he would also need an energy. If he's drawn that, then this video really will just be proof that, firstly, I really should have... <laughs> I really should have gone a bit more with the um, enhanced hammers. But secondly, that, you know, Plasma does have a good matchup. A very nice matchup against Evil Tower based decks. Now, We can get the KO here, but then we're slightly vulnerable to... And actually, we're going to be running out of stuff at this stage. So. What we're going to have to do here... And actually, I got too much energy there. With the Professor's Letter. What we can do here, ah, uh, and we've managed to miss, so I think that is going to be it for this particular game, because we've missed on the, we have unfortunately missed on the um, float stone, which is very unfortunate. But, there's very little we can do about that, so we carry on regardless. And there's a Jirachi. Now, we have got N there, so we're not, we're not going to deck out or anything silly like that. The problem is, he is now, again, just a muscle band away from the victory here, because I don't have the float stone. Now, I've used one float stone, but only one float stone. So, really... I mean, in my three cars and four prizes, there are two float stones. If I can draw a float stone, that's fantastic. Because I don't really care about those evil towels going down. I mean, essentially, yeah, I'm a slight... I'm slightly worried here, because I've had to use my Dow's machine too early. But essentially, he's not getting the KO without a muscle band here. So... You know, he's got the Deoxys there, but I'm not going to pile enough energy. I I'm not going to pile enough energy onto an Evil Tau to allow him to get a KO with Deoxys. That's not going to happen. Now, I there is that Evil Tau on the bench, which is slightly um, vulnerable. And he has played a Pokemon Catcher, so there's every chance that he plays another Pokemon Catcher. But if he can't get the KO this turn, then I can get the KO on his Lugia. Whilst putting another energy... Oh, and he misses the KO. So now... And I need the third evil towel, which is unfortunately in the discard here. So... I really need that float stone. And if I don't hit the float stone... Then I have lost this game. Because I can't even attach to the Drudigan and do the 40 damage with Poison. So, this really is all down to it here. I need that Float Stone and I need it very desperately. Now I know I'm putting a... And they're both prized. So, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that is the game. I have two float stones left, and they're both in my last four prizes, which means there's nothing I can really do here. <sighs> I can KO his Lugia, and then he's going to take two prizes. I suppose it's all going to come down to, can I get a huge KO... With that evil towel. There's still a chance. But I don't. Like my chances very much. So. Let's just use. 
the Y cyclone. And then we can move that energy to the benched evil towel, take a couple of prizes. Oh wow! And I still <laughs> somehow <laughs> I still somehow do not have one of those float stones, which is um <sighs> inconvenient. Now there is every chance that my opponent is going to make a mistake and allow me to get a big KO here. But essentially, at this stage of the game... Ah, okay. Now, if he can get the KO with this Absol... Oh, wow. I think... Did my opponent just make a huge mistake? There is a chance he did... Because now I can just attach to the evil towel and do evil ball for the KO. Um, okay, I mean this is... I think I might get the win here, which is kind of silly, to be honest with you. Um, I mean essentially going aggro Lugia is a bad call when you don't... Um, when you're not getting the extra prizes like he did. So let's play the laser there just to kind of confirm it. But it looks like I've gone and taken a KO that I had and a win which I had no no business really taking. So let's sum up that game nice and quickly. First of all, Plasma that has a good start against an Evil Tower base deck. Bad news bears. And you saw that there. And I was on the back foot for the game. The Enhanced Tamers did well. I should have got my Enhanced Tamers back with the Sableye. That was my problem. I really could have done with um, not having my two Floatstone as my last two prizes. But there we go. But you saw there that at the end of the day, what I was able to do was actually drag out a huge Evil Ball KO at the end. Which I think might have been the only time I used Evil Ball in the game. So, hopefully that allowed you to see how this deck works. One small mistake there with the Sableye, but other than that you saw I started slowly. I was on the back foot. I had some big discards. He started much better than me, but... Came back with a big Evil Ball, and that is not the last time you'll see Evil Tail do that. Thank you very much for watching. As always, subscribe, like, comment, you know how it works. And I'll be back shortly with more videos. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.